Welcome again to this wonderful day of uh, Thanksgiving worship and celebration of the gift of the sanctuary building by our Jaiwa Jaira. This is our third anniversary, and uh, we are so thankful to God, and we are going to quickly be in the presence of God with the rising up and singing hymn number 74, O God, our help in ages past. It's, it's a wonderful hymn to tell God that we are so grateful, and he is the one that has helped us over the years. Maybe stand, please. Father of Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, we come into thy holy presence, loving presence, majestic presence, awesome presence, yet generous and merciful, gracious presence in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, O God, who came and he lived among us and died and rose again. Lord, he is the one. He is the reason. Lord God, we have come to worship him, adore him, magnify him. He said, if I am lifted up, I will draw all men unto myself. Here we are, Lord, who is the head of the church. We have come to Lord, thank you with all our heart. We were nobody. We were nothing. Lord, we didn't have a church building. We didn't have an address whatsoever. But Lord, you took your eternal divine time to look upon us with mercy and grace. And he gave us three years ago, very this day, Lord God, this building. Lord, we will never forget. We will cry at your feet, Lord, with gratitude. Like that one leper from Samaria who came running back after having been blessed with healing of his leprosy. With a loud voice, he thanked and praised God. Lord God, that same spirit, Lord, with which now we stand at your feet. Your resurrected presence is here. Lord, we are ordinary people. We are simple people. You chose us for a great reason for their glory. Lord, we were nothing, but you found us. Lord, what a joy to acknowledge you. Lord, at this moment, 
in our lifetime here. Lord God, we thank thee for thy mercy, for thy grace, for thy protection, for thy provision, for thy visions that you gave us, incredible way you guided us. <clears throat> Lord God, we thank thee. At this time, Lord, as we stand in thy holy presence, wash me, cleanse me of all of our sins, so that, Lord, we stand justified, wearing the robe of righteousness, garment of salvation, that only Jesus can give. He did it all, Lord, on the cross of Calvary to make it possible for me and for all of us to be reconciled to our Holy Father, Heavenly Father. Lord, your love has beckoned us here. Lord, you wanted us to come here, and you worked it so well in all our hearts, stirred our hearts, our oh God, and to brought us here. Lord, we thank thee. We pray, Lord, that will receive all the glory, all the praise, all the honor. We pray, Lord, your presence will be so real in our hearts Lord, fill us with gratitude, above all, a spirit of gratitude. We rededicate ourselves and dedicate this sanctuary building, and we pray for this wonderful nation in which you have called us as a family of God. Oh, Lord God, we thank thee. What a marvelous God you are. You have done great things of which we are unable to express it in human words. We marvel, we wonder the way you guided us these 39 plus years. Lord God, we give thee all the glory and honor and praise. Accept our gratitude as we worship thee in spirit and in truth. Be with the loved ones near and far. Be with thy children across the globe, especially who are persecuted, Lord, in our own mother country. We pray for, O oh God, those who are going through incredible sufferings across the globe because they are Christians. We pray for churches, Christians who do not have a church building. We pray for, O oh God, pastors and evangelists who are going through incredible suffering and do not have a place to worship or their places of worship has been burnt down. We lift them up into your presence. Lord, we will never forget our brothers, sisters who are going through sufferings across the globe. Continue to give us a tender heart, a compassionate heart, a sacrificial heart, above all, a grateful heart. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We welcome you into God's presence. And as you know that, the bulletins are given here. And behind the bulletin, we have printed some verses. And you know, it's interesting. As a pastor, it's, uh, uh, it's, I had this bulletin, anniversary bulletin. Years and years went by. I used to wonder, when will be the time when we can use that bulletin, anniversary bulletin? I used to wonder. I used to look at it and say, well, that time will come. God will give us a sanctuary building. Then we can have an anniversary. And, uh, Lo and behold, this is a year I said, we are going to use that bulletin and say, Lord, you gave us a building, we have got an anniversary now. So remember, folks, this is the church that belongs to Christ, not to us. We are custodians. We are stewards. We don't own anything. We just say, Lord, it's yours. We just want to thank you with all our heart, and we welcome you to this wonderful third anniversary celebration and we let uh, all of you please take your seat now at this time. And we are going to worship through songs, language songs. And uh, they are listed here. They are beloved uh, languages from India are all represented here. This many. Wish we had more. But we have Hindi, Malayalam, Gujarati, Telugu, Kannada, and Tamil. So without me interrupting, May I request the Hindi and then Malayalam get ready, then others, please. Okay? Let's glorify the Lord. Thank you. Thank you, brother. Shuru, 
before me because he is at my right hand i shall not be moved good times or bad times um, god is lord is with us and he is with us through the end Yeah, oh, yeah. 
Gujarati Geet is a uh, meaning is going to that that is God is always good and uh, his blessing and mercy is always with us. Always we get his uh, sour of blessings. That is the meaning of our Gujarati song. Yeah. Praise the Lord. song means um, Lord we thank you because uh, in so many ways you know we there are no reasons there are no particular um, uh, issues to thank him even because we are breathing uh, we can thank him but uh, here because of uh, God provided us the, uh, this wonderful sanctuary building we are thanking God uh, actually meaning of this song uh, when we are weak you strengthened us you blessed us in each and every step of us and step by step you know uh, and uh, philippians 4:19 says my god shall supply all my needs according to his riches in glory same way god provided this sanctuary building and uh, let's all thank him with this telugu song
We are here to sing a Kannada song, and uh, this is a first for our church, so uh, thank you. <laughs> and and uh, as it suits the occasion, this is a song of praise. Uh, uh, it's a song of praise to God uh, that says that everything is possible through you. Uh, you have helped me uh, through uh, difficult times. Uh, you have, uh, through you, everything is possible. Uh, whenever there were hardships, uh, you have uh, been there for me. You have wiped away my tears. And uh, uh, I praise you and thank you uh, because of this. Uh, there are some words that are familiar to folks speaking other languages too. So uh, please uh, feel free to join us. And uh, I want to thank uh, the ladies here for singing uh, with us because this is new to everybody. <laughs>
We are going to sing a beautiful Tamil song. It's a praise song. God, we have come to sing and thank you. We have come to think of your mercies and your love. Everything you have promised in your word, you have fulfilled by your own hand. We thank the good Lord all the days of our life. We pick this song because stanza two of this song is based on the word of promise from 2 Kings 3.17. For thus says the Lord, you will not see wind, nor shall you see rain, yet the valley shall be filled with water, so that you, your cattle and your animals may go. Just like what is said in this verse, God bless us with this building. We were praying for a sanctuary building for a long time. We didn't have any signs, but at the right time, God bless us with this sanctuary. Let's sing and praise God for his goodness. Sendri soli umai paada vandho, Un karam yetai evi kootra vandho. Nandri soli umai paada vandho, Our meditation is focused on how we can live a life. We look to the Lord God in gratitude. Gratitude never runs out of passion. I believe all parents teach their children to say thank you. And it is good that we live a life of gratitude to the Lord, especially who gives us breath in our nostrils, who gives us food to eat, clothes to wear, shelter to have, when millions, as you know that, do not have all these that we take for granted sometimes. And I know that you don't take for granted. You know that this is a great joy to give thanks to the Lord. And we thank and praise God. We, we look to our Lord Jesus Christ alone in gratitude. There are a couple of things I want to just focus on ourselves today. One is, let's turn to Isaiah ICC. We looked up, we look up to the Lord our God. Let's turn to Isaiah chapter 45, verse 22. We look up unto the Lord. 45, verse 22, has this to say, probably you can get, look to me and be saved. 
That's the first personal salvation that happens to us when we look to God. All you ends of the earth, and he's offering it. For I am God, and it, there is no other person other than me. There is no other apart from me. Also, we look, we say to God from Psalm 121, I will look up unto the hills from whence comes my help. My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. Also, Psalm chapter 34, verse 5. You see this very clearly says, uh, let's turn to Psalm 34, verse 5. They looked to him and were radiant, and their faces were not ashamed. And then they also in Micah chapter 7, verse 7, and Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1 and 2, we seek God, we look to God. We look up all the time to God. We'll, we never get discouraged. My help comes from the Lord. We look up to our Lord God Almighty. And we will continue to look to the Lord God in love, in awe and wonder, in praise and worship, in gratitude, in thanksgiving. We'll always look up to God in our entire being. And we'll never be discouraged. You turn me chapter 6 verse 4. And then you are, go on to see Matthew 22. There are a lot of Bible verses. Matthew 22, 37 to 40. And then Mark 12. Verse 29 to 31. We look up to God. ICC will always learn to and we have continued to look up to God alone because He is awesome God. He is a wonder God. Exodus chapter 15 verse 11 makes that enormously clear. Exodus 15, 11. It says, Who is like you, O Lord, among the gods? Who is like you? Glorious in holiness, fearful in praises, doing wonders. One of the things that we have experienced is to always live in awe and wonder of this God. How could he do this, all these things? He has done it even in Psalm 19. You can see verse 1. We always marvel. The heavens declare the glory of God and the firmament shows his handiwork. On and on it goes. It's amazing how our God is an awesome God. We look up to Him. So ICC, look to God. Remember the song that we sing? Our God is an awesome God who reigns from heaven above. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee, O Lord my God. And also, we know very well that number two, ICC, we look back to the Lord our God. We look up to God, then we look back to the Lord our God. Very clearly, the Word of God says in Deuteronomy chapter 4, Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 9, we look back. Wise people always will look back and see, especially, I think women are good in looking back and see the day they got married, the day they got their first child. They're, they are very good in this. So Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 9, as this to say very clearly, it says, um, only take heed to yourself and diligently keep yourself lest you forget the things your eyes have seen and lest they depart from your heart all the days of your life and teach them to your children and your grandchildren. God keeps on telling, don't ever forget, don't ever forget. Also in Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 10 through 14, again God says it very clearly to look carefully. Deuteronomy chapter 8, when you have eaten and are full, and then you shall bless the Lord your God for the good land which he has given you. Beware that you do not forget the Lord your God by not keeping his commandments, his judgment, and his statutes which I commanded you today. Lest when you have eaten and are full, and have built beautiful houses, and dwell in them, and when you are Herds and your flocks multiply, and your silver and your gold are multiplied, and all that you have is multiplied. When your heart is lifted up, and you forget the Lord your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt, from the house of bondage, who led you through the great and terrible wilderness in which you were, you were, were fiery serpents and scorpions and thirsty land. God is telling, carefully, never ever forget to look back and see how God has led you forth. You know, there are so many ways we can look back in the history of this church and then see how much God has done. One of the verses that I really wanted is also is seen in 1 Samuel. 
1 Samuel chapter 7 verse 12. Remember, Samuel is a great prophet and he always wanted these people to remember, the children of Israel to remember. First chapter 7, he put a stone between Mizpah and Shen, you remember? And he said that and he called that stone Ebenezer. Uh, chapter 7 verse 12. When your days of... Uh, uh, I'm sorry, second, first, uh, I mean second Samuel. First Samuel. First Samuel chapter seven. Verse twelve. Then Samuel took a stone and set it up between Mizpah and Shen, and called its name Ebenezer, saying, Thus far the Lord has helped us. He gave a quick look and said, Hey fellows, don't forget hitherto the Lord God. In all our personal lives, collectively, individually, in ICC, we can say, Ebenezer, God has helped us. We couldn't have reached here. Thus far, the Lord has helped us, and He will help us. And then, what of God says in Psalm 103, 2, and Psalm 78, verse 5, 6, and 7, and you can go on. We look back in gratitude. We turn back like the Samaritan leper who got healed among the ten lepers. Nine were Jewish people. They all ran. The moment they got the healing, they took off. They ran to their wives, to their family, to their priests, and to their community. But not this fellow. He came back and he just fell down at the feet of Jesus. I see, you should never forget. This building has been given to us and we had nothing. So we are going to behave always like this fellow, the Samaritan leper. And we'll say, Lord, We'll be always at your feet. We'll express our gratitude to you. You know, even personally, if your life is like that, you'll do very well in life. Never forget. Never forget. That's why God put many, many Bible verses to live in gratitude. He also said, don't forget your parents. Always have gratitude to your parents. Modern day children, they don't care. Not our church children. Our church children are filled with gratitude. We give, we give Always thanks to the Lord. Give thanks with a grateful heart. You remember we sing this? And, you know, now let the poor say, I am rich. God is blessed. Now, number one, ICC, we look up to the Lord our God. ICC, we look back to the Lord our God in gratitude. Now, ICC, we look ahead to the Lord our God for what? Direction. We look to the Lord God for counsel, for guidance. We look to the Lord God for trust and hope. Lord, I want to take the next step in dependence. So the word of God makes it enormously clear in, let's say, for example, I think we are going to have the Deuteronomy chapter 31, verse 6 and uh, 12. It's a beautiful verse. Chapter 31, Deuteronomy chapter 31, verses uh, 6 and 8. Be strong and of good courage. Do not fear, nor be afraid of them. For the Lord your God, he is the one who goes with you. He will not leave you nor forsake you. When you send your child first time to the school, how much of encouragement you gave, isn't it? Mommy will be here, daddy will be here, you go, isn't it? What a wonderful way all of us, when we grew up, we got assurances from our parents. Go. I'll be there. They were crying, but you said, no, you go. I'll be here standing for you or I'll be here coming for back for you. God is telling, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. What a wonderful way to remember God and say, Lord, we look to you ahead. We look ahead, Lord, because you are there for us. Joshua chapter 1, verse 8 and 9, the same thing he said, as I was with Moses, so I'll be with you. Go ahead. Take the next step of faith and live for the Lord God. We listen to the Lord as we look ahead for wisdom, guidance, counsel, direction. We follow the Lord. We obey the Lord and complete dependence on the Lord, we look to Him, isn't it? We look ahead. Lots of verses. I want to give it to you. Those who want to write it, Isaiah chapter 9 verse, nine, uh, verse 6. His name is called Wonderful Counselor. We don't run this church because pastor thinks he, no. We run to him and say, Lord, give us guidance. Proverbs chapter 3 verse 5, uh, five and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not unto your own understanding. 
In all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths. There's a long way for ICC to go. We look to the Lord God. We look ahead to the Lord alone. Isaiah chapter 28 verse 29 makes it also very clear. God will guide us. He will not let us go confused or anything. He will give us clear guidance. Isaiah chapter 28 verse 29. It says here, uh, This also comes from the Lord of hosts who is wonderful in counsel and excellent in guidance. Have you ever read this verse? I hold on to verses like this. Lord, you are, you are wonderful in counsel. His name is called Wonderful Counsel. Remember, it's repeated again. And also, what excellence in guidance. Anybody looking for guidance? I think ICC needs guidance. Excellence in guidance. That's what God is. Isaiah chapter 30, verse 21 also has this to say. Your ears shall hear a word behind you saying, this is the way, walk in it. Whenever you turn to the right hand or whenever you turn to the left hand. God is ready to give us when we look ahead and say he will give us guidance. There are lots of verses. Jesus said, I am the way, the life, and the truth. John chapter 14, verse 6. And then on and on you will say, thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Psalm 19, 119, verse 105. So ICC will look ahead to the Lord our God for guidance, for counsel, for hope, for trust, for direction. And number four, ICC we look around through the Lord of God. We look around. Why do we look around? Are we frightened? No. We look around for souls that are lost in this world. For God so loved the world that he gave us his only begotten son. So, what of God says, follow me, I'll make you fishers of men. Matthew chapter 4 verse 19. And then also Matthew chapter 9 verse 35 to 38. Follow me, I'll make you fishers of men. And the word of God says in Proverbs chapter 11 verse 30, he who wins souls is wise. So we look around for the lost people and bring them to the feet of Jesus. We are not people who are just only looking up and only looking ahead. No, we look around and say, is there somebody I can show a little compassion, little help? Come to me, Jesus. I'll take you to Jesus. We are soul winners. We are fishers of men. We are disciples of Christ and seeking to make disciples for Christ. So we look around through the love of Christ and compassion of Christ. And then also number five, ICC, we look inside through the word of God. Who can look inside of herself or himself? Only the word of God. Only the Holy Spirit. Nobody can ever try to say. Because we are always right in our own sight. We are right. And I see always, I think I'm right. The rest of the world is wrong. But when the word of God is given opportunity with the Holy Spirit is the author, then he will give the light inside and tell who we are. That's what happens to us when we sincerely give a few minutes, not have cell phone, not have any sound, not have any human sound near us. Sincerely open the word of God and say, Lord, speak to me. One of the things he will say is affirmations he will give you. He will say how much he loves you. Another thing he will slowly tell you by holding a mirror to your inner soul, where you are. Then you will cry with the Psalm 51, Lord, I have sinned against you. Who can cleanse his heart? Only God can. He looks at our heart not to condemn us, but he will put the real light in us. You know, We are, we are not ordinary people. We are extraordinary people, chosen generation. Are we? We need to allow the Holy Spirit through the Word of God. Not just hearers of the Word of God, but doers of the Word of God. Always surrendering ourselves. Giving ourselves to the Holy Spirit. Saying, Lord, I, I want to be closer to you. I want to be dedicated to you. I want to surrender all. I surrender all. I surrender all. We sing. You know, we always seek to consecrate ourselves. Seek to please God, not ourselves. The Lord is near to those who are broken hearted. Psalm 34 verse 18. A lot of Bible verses are written here because of time constraint. And also 1 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 9. Uh, just a quick one. 1 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 9. You look to the Lord and uh, for we are God's fellow workers. We are God's field. We are God's fellow workers. We are God's field and you are God's building. Look how much. No, you're not. You are the temple of the Holy Spirit. 
So the heart is a very important place. We need to keep it straight in the presence of God. Psalm 51 will help us. Only the Lord God can cleanse us. What can wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Through the word of God, I come to know what a sinner I am, what a backslider I am, how much I have, I have uh, forsaken the Lord. I have also has gone in my own way. There's a way that seemeth right unto my life. How much I have wandered away from God. So when I get back to God, ICC constantly should value the word of God. If you are near the word of God, we'll go on it. We seek the Lord so that we practice his love, practice his patience, forgiveness, humility, meekness, gentleness, sacrifice, generosity, oneness of heart. Finally, ICC, we look to Jesus Christ alone and run our race. I like this man, the Samaritan leper. So many things we, we all can learn from him, you know. Nine got the physical healing and ran away. Sometimes Christianity, Christians can practice it. I just want green card. I just want healing from a sickness. I just want to be given a house. I need to get a house. I don't want to be in this rental place. I just want this blessing, that blessing. What happens? What happens after the blessing? I want a job, Pastor. What happened after the job? What happened? Be very careful. Think about it. Nine people took off. Only one person. Ten person. You see, Jesus said, I did not ten got healed? Only one. That too, the, you call the Samaritan a dog and a stranger, etc., etc. This man comes, falls at my feet, and cries with a loud voice, glorifies God, and thanks God. Amazing it is. You have to be very careful. We look to Jesus and say, Lord, we'll run to you. We'll run to you, Lord, in gratitude. I always seen the grateful person is a very humble person because he lives with this thing. I owe, I owe, I owe to God. I owe to others who love me. Oh, no man but in love. What of God says it, isn't it? In other words, God says, don't borrow from people. Don't get anything. If you borrow, return it quickly. And we owe nobody excepting in love. In love, we, are, we have to keep on being grateful to people. Because we are unloved people, loved by God, and now we are loved by God, and by loved ones all around in our church. We look to God for inspiration, motivation, courage, determination. And that's why we sing this song, I have decided to follow Jesus, no turning back. Second Corinthians 5, 7 says, you know that by heart. We walk by faith and not by sight, isn't it? We look to Jesus Christ. When we look to Jesus, our faces will be radiant. And we let the beauty of Jesus be seen in me. We sing this song. God will continue to look. And we'll always look to the Lamb of God. Isn't it? We, when I look into your holiness, you remember that song we sing? Isn't it? When you look, gaze into Jesus, your life will change. You'll wear the robe of righteousness. You'll wear the garment of salvation. The beauty of Christ will come to you. May the Lord God bless us as ICC family, we look to God, up to God, look up to God, our Lord God Almighty, we look back in gratitude, we look ahead in total dependence, we look around to win souls for the kingdom of God, we look inside, allowing the word of God to test us, try us, and then we look unto Jesus alone, so that we are representatives and children of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Remember, I've given you some important verses that you may want to go through it at the back of bulletin. May the Lord God continue to lead and guide us all as we continue to seek and serve him. We are thankful to God for who we are. His church could not have existed but for God's vision and plan. He birthed it and so many people have come and gone. You know, it's amazing. There's a lot of things I can, Pamela can say but we had so many blessings. So many people sacrifice a lot with the time, talent, and treasures, I cannot, but God knows he is a good accountant. So many people work so hard behind this. It's just not one person. It's a whole lot of people. Some of them are in distant parts of the world, gone back to India. They all work, we all work together, strive together. So Jesus is the one who gave us all the motivation. So let's continue to look our, to our Lord Jesus Christ alone. And this third wonderful and this beautiful. So... Keep on going behind the Lord.
So may the Lord God bless us as we close out this wonderful third anniversary, which we promise will be a short one, by singing, count your blessings, name them one by one. May we stand to sing this closing hymn, count your blessings. Please stand. During which time, we shall receive special offering for our sanctuary building as the Lord God lays in your heart. When upon life's pillows you are tempest on, when you are discouraged thinking all is gone, count your many blessings, name them one by one, and it will surprise you the Lord has done. Count your blessings, name them one. Your blessings, see what God has done. Count your blessings, name them one by one. God has done. Are you ever burdened? Does the cross seem heavy? Your many blessings, every dog will fly, and you will be singing as spoke Count your blessings, name them one by one. Count your blessings, see what God has done. Count your blessings. Name them one by one, and it will surprise you what the Lord has done. When you lands and fall, think well and tall. Count your many blessings, money. Your reward in heaven, oh my God. Count your blessings, name them one by one. Count your blessings, what God has done. Count your blessings, name them one by one. And it will surprise you what the Lord. Has done. So amid the conflict, but great our song. Do not be discouraged, oh my Count your many blessings, angels will attend. Help and comfort give you the journey's end. Come. Your blessings, name them one. Count your blessings, God has done. Count your blessings, name them one by one. And it will surprise you, the Lord has done. Praise God. Let's go to the throne of Heavenly Father. We love you, Lord. We are unable to express our gratitude. Accept our heartfelt gratitude. Like that Samaritan leper who came and fell on your feet. Lord, we are now at your feet, Lord. We, we just want to loudly praise you. Thank you, Lord. We thank you for these precious children. We have taken time, Lord. They have got many things to do. Their children are back to school. There are a lot of things they have to catch up with. But they have come, Lord, to express their gratitude. On this third anniversary, you gave us this building, Lord. You transformed this building in record time. What it was to what it is. Record-breaking time. 
Not only children gave, they gave themselves first to you. And they opened up their savings and just gave out left and right all their money. Lord God, what a great sacrifice these children have made. What great hard work they all put in. Lord God, I'm not the only man. Kamala is not the only person. The whole team, the church of ICC, work together, love together, rejoice together, and put their shoulder together to the work. And Lord, you are the motivator of everything. Lord, we thank thee for these precious children and those who are not with us here, Lord. You know them by name. You know how much sacrifice all those people have made. So many, O oh God, you know them all by name. Bless them, bless them. Bless us, Lord, as we commune and fellowship together. We thank the Lord for being with Gita in her surgery. Thank the Lord for being with Azaria in his surgery. Thank the Lord for being with Anne Wadur in her surgery in back in Ahmedabad in Gujarat. We thank the Lord for the many blessings with which you have blessed all of us. Lord God, we commit our school-going children, university-going children, all of them at thy feet. Cover them. Thank the Lord for the incredible healing improvement you have given to our beloved uh, Queenie in her hand so that she's in, she's praising you for what you have done. Oh God, we thank thee for the manifold blessings you have showered upon all of us here, Lord. We give thee all the glory. Accept our heartfelt gratitude, Master. You alone, Lord. You alone did everything. You alone did, Lord. You alone did this miracle. We thank you, Master, with all our heart. Continue to lead us, guide us, accept the tithes and offering children have given. Lord, you are able to multiply even a tiny bit of money. As you did to that little boy's lunch, you fed 5,000 plus people. Lord, you are able to multiply the God's precious children, sacrificial giving, uh, so that we can pay all our bills. And Lord God, we love you. We thank you. We pray, Lord, that our fellowship time together at the fellowship hall will be a big blessing. Lead us, guide us. In the glorious name of Jesus of Nazareth, we pray. Amen. May the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the love of our eternal Heavenly Father, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us both now and forever. Amen. God bless you. Thank you so much. Now let's go down, celebrate, please, and enjoy this love meal, please. All of you are welcome.